In this new video, I'm going to talk about theory of investment. We're going to focus on a model in which firms um, face some costs of adjusting their capital stock. It was used for the first time by James Tobin in 1969, and it is known as the Q-theory. Imagine we have an economy with n identical firms, and uh, we want to know the uh, uh, profit function of a representative firm whose capital stock is denoted by small k, as opposed to the capital stock existing in the whole economy, which is big K. That is the aggregate capital stock of the N firms. At time t, the firm has uh, a profit before investment that is equal to this function right here, which depends negatively on the existing capital stock of the whole economy, and it is proportional to its uh, to the firm's capital stock. We are assuming that this profit function is always positive and its slope always negative. The reason why an increase in the aggregate capital stock of the economy decreases profits is because as investment uh, increases in the economy, firms demand more labor. More labor demand uh, pushes up the wages and of course increases the costs of the firms and then their profits. Just to clarify, we're defining investment by a firm at period T as its adjustment in uh, its capital stock. When a firm adjusts its capital stock, it faces two kinds of costs. It first has to acquire new capital, which we assume has a fixed price of 1. And then, and this is key, the firm also faces uh, some costs of installing this new capital. And there are some uh, very important assumptions behind this uh, internal adjustment cost function. You can think of it as something like this picture. When the firm doesn't invest, it has no costs at all. And the minimum cost is precisely at that point where the firm is not investing at all. Also, we're assuming that this cost function is a convex function. That is, the marginal cost is increasing as the scale of the adjustment increases. Thus, at period T, after investing, the firm has a profit of um, profit before the adjustment takes place, which depends negatively on the aggregate stock of capital in the economy, and it is proportional to uh, the firm's uh, capital stock, to which we subtract the acquisition cost of investing given that the price of capital is 1 and some adjustment costs that we denote by C. Now our firm wants to maximize its discounted profits, the sum of all of its uh, profits at every period in time given that the uh, interest rate is fixed at some R bar. Here, the firm controls how much they invest, which is a flow variable, and they also have a state variable, which is the small k. In this model, in which we assume that the depreciation rate is zero, investment at t is nothing but the uh, change in the capital stock of the firm uh, at period t. So, to maximize the infinite discounted stream of profits, we define Q as the multiplier for the equation of motion of the capital stock of the company. Q can be interpreted as uh, the shadow price of one unit of capital. To solve this problem, we have to use optimal control. If you don't know what this is, please watch my video on dynamic optimization. The first step in these kind of problems is always to set up the present value Hamiltonian, which we define as this, the discounted sum of the objective function, 
plus uh, we introduce the equation of motion of the state variable multiplied by um, some uh, shadow value for the state variable. Concluding Q is basically the value of adding one more unit of capital for the firm. Watch my next video to see how to solve this problem.